Hey, what's up, everybody? In this video, I will be discussing my opinions on the pros and cons of slabbed or graded coins. Now, chances are this could be a controversial topic because there are people who feel very strongly one way or another. You either really like it or you really don't, and some people may fall somewhere in the middle. Either way, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the video. And if you feel that I missed any pros, cons, positives, or negatives, let me know that also in the comment section below. Now, this video is mainly going to be about modern collectible coins, but I do feel very differently between modern collectible coins and vintage coins, something that may be of a more rare specimen, something that may have a much higher value. So I do think that there is a difference between grading, slabbing, certifying your vintage, more rare, something of a higher value, and your modern collectible coins i'm not so much into pre-33 gold but if i were i believe the only way that i would buy them is as a certified coin or if i did buy them raw the first thing i think that i would do would be to get them coins certified one reason is because they were circulated. They were meant for circulation. And I think there's a lot of benefit to proving its condition and proving its authenticity. And the same thing could also be said for other vintage coins that were meant for circulation, proving their authenticity, proving their grade. So I think there's a big difference between the two. Because once you get into something that's more rare, maybe more scarce and of a higher value, then you run into the higher likelihood of counterfeits. This video is mainly going to be about your more modern collectible coins. First, I'm going to give you my cons or negatives of grading your modern collectible coins. And now this list may not be in any given order, but in general, this is a list of all the cons in my opinion. And the very first one on my list is cost. There's a lot of fees wrapped up in sending out coins to be graded. And one of those fees is, well, you have to be a member. You have to be a member for most of these grading companies. And to be a member, it's not free. There's definitely cost with being a member. So that's the very first cost. The next cost is, well, you have to ship it to them. So there's a cost for shipping it to them. And then there's also a cost for return shipping. And then you also have to insure these coins both directions. So that's the other fee involved. The next fee involved, well, there's a grading fee. So you have to pay a certain amount of money and that fee differs from the level of grading service, the speed of grading service. If you if you don't mind getting it back slower or if you want to get it back a little bit faster, then there's more fees involved there. Depending if you go with their default label or if you want to get a different type of a label, then there's also fees wrapped up in labels. My next con would be the grade. Most of these modern collectible coins, maybe not in every situation, but I would say in most situations, if they do not come back a perfect grade, a perfect 70, then they're not going to be worth any more than if you would have just kept them in the original packaging. In fact, in a lot of cases, they may be worth less as a 69 or a 68, or if you even get anything back worse than that, it would have been worth more than if you would have just kept it in the original packaging. One example of getting back a coin less than a 70 and it no longer being even worth the original issue price is right here in this video. And I did do a separate video on this by itself, but it is this congratulations set coin. It came back at 69 and it's not even worth the issue price that it cost from the United States Mint. So right here in this video, a very good example of exactly that. So getting back anything less than a 70, that is my next con. And let's face it, this is all subject to opinion. That's why you can crack out coins, crack them out of the slabs, send them into different grading companies, send them into the same company at different times, and maybe get back a different grade. That is because it is based on opinion. My next con is going to be all of these different assortments of labels. There's exclusive labels. 
There's the early release, the first release, first strike, advanced labels. There is a whole bunch of assortment of labels and a lot of these different labels cost different money if you are able to get any of these labels in the first place because like I said, a lot of these labels are very exclusive. Certain companies have different labels that are only exclusive to them. So if you want to buy any of these coins that have these exclusive labels, then you have to pay more money for them slab coins. So in general, I am not a big fan of a lot of these different labels. In this video, you do see one label that is a Morgan 2021 label from NGC, but that was their default label for those coins. I did not pay one penny extra for that label. However, if you would have sent these coins to PCGS and you wanted a Morgan or a Peace Dollar label, then PCGS was charging you an extra fee for them labels. So that's one thing that I'm very big on is I do not pay. If I do send any modern coins out for grading, I do not pay additional fees for different labels. So that is going to be my next con is that I think that a lot of these different labels, in my opinion, a lot of people have difference of opinion and that's okay. But in my opinion, a lot of these different labels are very gimmicky. So that's my next con is all these different types of labels. My next con is not so much if you're going to be sending coins off for grading yourself, but maybe you're going to be buying coins already certified, already graded, already slabbed off of social media, off of eBay, or off of the secondary market in general, and that is counterfeit or fake slabs. They're all over the place. And a lot of people do ask me, why do you cover up your serial numbers like I have in this video? And that's for a couple of reasons. One reason is for privacy. And the other reason is for people, for criminals who want to make these counterfeit slabs, they cannot copy my serial numbers because my serial numbers on these slabs are covered up. So that's going to be my next con. And that is be cautious and make sure you are verifying that authenticity of whatever coin is graded or slabbed. My next con, and this also goes back to some of them gimmick labels, and that is going to be sending in straight up bullion, bullion coins or any kind of bullion in general. And in this case, I'm referring to bullion American silver eagles and with the labels that specify where these coins were struck. Bullion, BU, American Silver Eagles, American Silver Eagles that were struck in the tens of millions, which do not have a mint mark, by the way, but the labels tell you where these coins were struck. Not a fan, not a fan whatsoever of these labels telling you that these coins were struck at the Philadelphia Mint, the San Francisco Mint, or the West Point Mint. In my opinion, it's just bullion. When you do send in a set for grading, like I did with the 2021 limited edition silver proof set, and of course in a set there's multiple coins. In this case, I believe in 2021 there was six coins. Three of the coins came back a 69, and three of the coins came back a 70. I think it was six. It may, it may have been eight. I can't remember but they did not all come back the same grade. So you cannot say that it's a 70 grade for all the coins or a 69 grade for all the coins. It's a mixture of grades. So it's not just one grade for the entire set. It's a mixture of 69s and 70s. And maybe you get back something lower than a 69. So that is going to be another con if you do send in a set. The entire set is not guaranteed to all come back the same Great. And this would also include the emergency issue American Silver Eagles. In my opinion, it's all just bullion. I don't want to pay for these special, in my opinion, gimmicky labels. Another con of coin grading for silver coins is milk spots. Slabs do not prevent silver coins from milk spotting and silver coins can milk spot at any given time. You don't really know when a coin, if a coin or when a coin is going to milk spot. I have had at least one or two silver coins 
in slabs graded a 70 and graded a 69 that has milk spotted after the coin was already graded. I have seen several coins at my local coin shop that have milk spotted after the coin was already in the slab and had its grade. And good luck getting somebody to pay you MS70 or MS69 or Proof69 or Proof70 money after the coin develops milk spots. Let's talk about the pros, shall we? Now, in my opinion, there is not many. Now, there are special occasions where I will send modern collectible coins out for grading. For example, 2021 for me was a big one. I sent out all of my 2021 Morgan and Peace dollars. I also sent in the one and only limited edition silver proof set that I ever purchased and I sent that out for grading as well. I viewed that as a special scenario where it had the two American Silver Eagles, the Type 1 and Type 2 proof American Silver Eagle. So I did send that one out for grading, but in most cases I wouldn't even purchase that set, let alone send that set out for grading. So there are some special cases, some special issues that I will send out to get graded and to get certified. If you get back a 70, now the big point to this is you do have to find a buyer. You have to know how you are going to sell these coins. An exit strategy is very important, but if you get back a 70, it can add extra value if you know how to sell. Are you gonna sell on eBay? If you do, there's going to be fees involved. Do you have a social media presence? Do you have a presence on Instagram or on YouTube? Do you have a way to sell? If you do, then it could add extra value if you get it back as a 70. I do agree with that ever so popular saying, for the most part, buy the coin, not the grade. However, if you ever decided that you wanted to sell that coin, if the coin is certified and graded by a third party grading company, it's no longer your opinion versus theirs because now you have a third party opinion that is the grade of that coin. The other pro is going to be its authenticity. Now there are, like I stated in the cons, there are counterfeits, but if you're sending it out yourself, then you know that that coin is going to be authentic. And even though these are modern coins, there have been cases where modern, even modern coins have been counterfeited. Take for example, the V75 American Silver Eagle from 2020. There's been a few of them that have been found as counterfeits. So those are my two pros and really the only two pros that I can think of. If you can think of any more positives or pros about modern collectible coin grading, let me know in the comment section below. But my two pros are proving its authenticity of the coins. And if they come back as a 70, it could add some extra value. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody who took the time out of their day to watch this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.